you guys doing? You've seen that there's uh, been an offering made here recently. Um, could I do a religion check to see like if this was like a sacrifice, or if this was just like? No, that's pretty much what yeah. it is. Offering a sacrifice, sure. That's how the the gnolls actually celebrate their their deity. I take one of the gnoll bodies and throw it on the symbol. Ooh, I like that. Good job. You shouldn't tempt the gods. <laughs> All right. So, what do you? What else are you guys doing here? See a big twenty-foot door in front of you, double wide. You know, each uh, door is ten foot wide. This door is is uh, made of a thick granite. Okay. Uh, while they're figuring out what to metal do, and, metal and granite door actually. Is it more? Is it more than an inch thick? Uh, you. It, it looks to be a. Pretty thick door, yeah. It looks to be very heavy as Fuck. well. You can't turn pick it up. Disc. I was gonna turn it into a disc. <laughs> that would be were the bows I picked that. up short or long? Uh, the bows that the gnolls were using were long bows, that it, which is a martial weapon. So, should uh, we have the rogue check the door out? Yeah, I can check it for probably like traps or something. Actually, yeah, I'm going to make myself useful in uh, perception for traps on the door. Give me a, You can give me an investigation check instead of a perception for the traps. Seeing that you're, you're uh, literally going to go up to the door and, and check it out. Sure, you can give me an investigation. And that's plus wisdom. Uh, whatever, it, whatever it says on your uh, plus intelligence. Let's see, it will be yep, intelligence and add in your. That's an eighteen. Which for you, I believe you have the the bonus the plus five as well. Yeah. So. Oh, so then that's a that's a twenty, a natural. Yep. Modified twenty. You can see that there is a uh, no traps on the door and it is unlocked. Nice roll, right. thirteen plus seven. Very good. Uh, I'm just gonna be because my character's fairly stupid, even though he's a mage. And he's gonna go uh, up and just open the door, seeing that it's unlocked. All right. Let's uh let's take a couple minute break here, guys. I gotta get a bio real quick and something to drink. So give me like uh, about three minutes or so, and I'll be right back. All right. And then I will right. get the door opened yeah. up and all that good jazz. So I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and take a, a, a real quick three-minute bio break real quick, and uh, I'll be right back. So I'm going to play. We are back here. So, all right. So, yeah, I'm going to open up the door, seeing that it's unlocked. It is It is definitely unlocked. With my uh, pink glowing piece of wood. I'm hiding behind the corner. <laughs> Can my cleric take a defensive <clears throat> position? A dodge position. Uh, dodge. Uh, nope. Not until uh, we see what happens with the with the door. Can we not alert everybody in the next room by throwing a glowing piece of wood into the room? <laughs> well, we couldn't. But uh... you know, as you do open up these these massive double doors, and who who's open up the door? By the way, um, Canvin. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Rack has extensive experience with doors. You should let him do it. Canvin is opening it. He got there before you. Sorry. All right. So, Canvin, you can go ahead and give me a strength check, please. These are actually rather okay. heavy doors. Uh, let me just check my strength modifier. Okay, zero. You tug on it, and nothing happens. You get the door to move a little bit, but uh, the, the doors are just too heavy for, for your strength. Rack sitting back here cackling. Kevin's <laughs> <laughs> gonna look back and said, "Oh yeah, tough guy, you try it and throw the pink piece of wood at you." Can I make a Dex ability thing to catch the piece of wood? Let's we'll say you caught it. Yeah. All right, I catch it and I move up to try and move this door. Okay. 
Ah, Rack, pink seems to be your color. You should keep that piece of wood. And uh, as he goes to try to open the door, can I use guidance to improve his, his uh, opening the door check? Oh, well, he's already started to open it up, so... Where is the world to die? Sure, you can go ahead and put it out on there as well. You can expend a cantrip and do that. Sure, add an we'll additional 1d4. Okay. It's 1d4. Okay, 1d4, please. Alright, 19, you get the door open, and this is what you see. Oh, snap. As I'm opening the door, I'm going to look back and say, that's how you open a door. I'm just going to do, like, a, a very soft, like, golfer's clap. <laughs> All right. Oh, also, Dave, he has the uh, twenty-foot light thing in his hand. Still, I think. All right. So know. you get the door opened up, and there is a, a short flight of stairs that goes down ten feet. There's no kind of uh, movement impedance or anything like that uh, that descends into the room, ranked by, uh, flanked by massive braziers on each side. You guys can see those where you're at. Uh, the there is also a massive golden casket that is dominating the center of the room. Uh, you can see that there is a a knoll with a massive halberd and shield that is standing uh, on sort of like a platform behind it. Uh, but directly in front of you, there are a total of four knolls with uh, longbows as well. And let's see, uh, at the east end of the room, uh yeah, is the big guy with the with the halberd. And it looks like he is commanding the the gnolls to attack, and you can also hear lots of uh lots of cackling as well. A, a lot more cackling in this room than you did and than you heard in the last room. You know, and there are, you know, several sarcophagus and and coffins in this room as well. So, it looks like you're you're not going to have a straight shot. It looks like they're actually the the massive sarcophagus in the middle is eating up you know basically all of your vision where you're at but once you get in you're going to see there's other coffins and uh, you're going to have to make jumping checks or athletics checks to get over so uh, right. can I magic missile the guy at the front uh, when it's your turn sure okay. as long as you have a sight I'm just saying because a, we don't have sight you said so as long as, long as you have well you have sight directly in front of you, but when your tokens move in a little bit more, then you're going to see that there are coffins in the room as well that are impeding, sort of acting like a barrier uh, that's into the room. You can, you might be able to see this this coffin here, and you could probably yeah. see this coffin here. Well, those are you know raised up above as well, so you you don't have a, what I'm saying. You don't have a clear line with any kind gotcha. of you know movement impedances. So, all right, I got you. So they have like cover except against like a magic missile. They have so. yes, they have they have cover. They definitely have cover. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and and roll some initiatives. Negative one. How does that happen? I have a dexterity of seven, so I get minus two to my roll when I roll the one. Ouch. I simply chose to watch the events instead of do anything. Uh, David, how wide is this uh, metal doorway that's open? Uh, that is 20 feet. Okay. I'm gonna talk to... Oh shit, what's your name? The Dragonborn. The one that used the shield before, the wood thing. Rack. Okay. Rack. I'm going to say, Rack, you, you may want to grab that uh, door again. Now, are these doors, like, wide open? Or are they kind of open a little bit for cover kind of thing? No, they, they made, a, they made a, a grinding. You know, they basically opened up once you got them to a certain point. They basically just opened up the rest of the way. And they, they did push in, so. Gotcha. How tall is this golden sarcophagus in the middle? It's about uh, about four feet, so it's going to be basically half cover. Do I have an initiative tracker? Because I don't see it. I'll get it up when it's ready. Okay. Patience, Padawan. Patience. 
on last, so it's not a big deal, I guess. All right, so it looks like a uh, Canvin. You've got a uh, first yes. initiative. Wow, nice roll on the on the cleric down there. Well, it's kind of good to be last, actually. So, all right, so I think right. everyone has their spells except for I believe Dritzen's down one first level spot, one yep. first level spell slot. So, all right. So with this little bit of elevation, can I see over this uh, golden thing in the middle? Uh, these sure. steps. You, you can. Right. You can definitely see the the knolls. They will have. Uh, they will still have. A partial cover, though. I'm gonna magic missile the main guy, the giant halberd. Okay, sure. You can uh, magic missile him. All right, and, and so that's forty-four plus that would or three d four plus one. Three d four plus three. You add plus one for every for every missile. So don't don't shortchange yourself. <laughs> All right. Ooh, nice damage. Twelve damage to him. Very nice. He commands in, in a you know a cackle to, to where he's sort of lowering his hand, telling him to looks like what it what appears are going to be shooting more longbows at you. I'm gonna take. Oh uh, wait, are these doors wide open? You said or yeah, they're they're wide oh, open. Shit. You it's Canvin. It's still your your turn, so you can do some movement if you would like as well. So uh, what I was gonna say is, is there like a little bit of the door like? Since I'm guessing these doors are going to be very large, um, so could I use, like hide behind the little hinges of the door as cover, or is that not no. possible? No, it's okay. not. No, it's not possible. No. All right, I'm going to hide question, behind the cleric. Okay, sounds good. Looks like uh, Lovo, you are up now. All right. All right. And I can see like like Look, half of them. Or can I see the main guy if I pop out and take a shot with my bow? Sure. If you want to take a shot, sure. He's going to have a partial cover as well, so because of the the massive uh, coffin in front of you, sarcophagus, or as Dirt calls him, the carcifagus. So I will move up to like here. And uh, take a shot at the, the guy up on the stage there. Okay. All right. I'm going to add a little bit to his armor class as well. He's got cover, so plus two. Hold on one second here. No, you're just within 80 feet. It's not like a minus to that, right? Or is it 80 and above? Oh, uh, for what the the longbow? You said you picked You're up one barely of the within. Bows, right? Yeah. Did you pick up one of the longbows? Let me see if uh, I I need to see if you're actually I don't know if you're even proficient in a longbow. So. No, I didn't pick up the the. Uh, other. So he has his little bow on him. You're still using the the short bow. All right. Yeah. Yep. You have yeah the the short bow is uh, I believe eighty feet. Just barely. Yeah, you're yeah. actually 80 feet. So, and I think the the longbow is I think 125 or 150 somewhere on there. Probably 150. Okay, and my my thing has uh, disappeared here for the D20 and stuff. Okay, uh, you, you click on your your token. They should be up top there. I just oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I just clicked on your token. They all appeared. So hopefully they're still working for you. All right, so a uh, 24 versus armor class. That's a hit. Then roll your damage. 1d6 plus 3. Longbow is 150 range. 600 max. All right, there you go. Uh, finish your movement, Lovo. We're off to uh, this here. Uh, he's going to uh, attack. Let's see, who is he going to attack? He is going to attack the cleric. And the uh, longbow attack. Uh, 14 versus armor class, which is a miss. Uh, next up is uh, the leader. The leader runs down. 
and looks like he appears uh, he, if he appears uh, he goes out of sight right. he's scared of the doorman he moves down and you can hear him uh, pointing uh, over your way and looking at the other uh, null archers all right so that's it for the for the leader uh, now we have something uh, interesting here happening uh, as you guys hear all this cackling going on you can see that a, a, a hyena does appear from behind the sarcophagus jumps up onto the uh, oops jumps up onto the sarcophagus right here and uh, the hyena does engage looks like the hyena is charging in 10 15, 20, what is their movement? I think they have like a 40 movement, 50, somewhere on there. Uh, yep, 50. So he was hiding behind the sarcophagus? Yes. He wasn't in it? Nope, he was hiding behind it. Looks like he's, uh, looks like he's engaging uh, the barbarian. And the hyena actually will, will get an attack as well. Uh, a bite, plus 2, 1d6. And that is an 11, so he sniffs at you, and you're actually able to, to butt him off with the, uh, the, the handle of your axe. So we have a, looks like a, another hyena is jumping out from the coffin down here. Ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, 20, 25, 30, and... 35. He is going to attack the cleric. And that is a 19 versus armor class. And you are bit for a total of 6 piercing damage, which is max damage. 6 piercing damage. Okay, and what's my concentration check? I need, yes. yep. Uh, that'll be a, uh, I believe it's a 5 plus the 6, so you're going to need to make a, I believe it's a constitution saving throw. Uh, uh, it's going to have to be an 11 or higher. Let me do let me double check that. That's a formula that I don't use too often, so one second. The DC is 10, or half the damage you take, whichever is higher. Two, three, two, four. So uh, yeah, okay. So they, okay. So yeah, that looks like they did change it. So, yep. Uh, you need to do a a DC ten Constitution saving throw. So okay, because that is actually higher than uh, half of the damage you took. So half of the damage will only be three. So con saving throw, and you are your concentration is interrupted. So the uh, shield comes off of the barbarian. All right, and that's it for uh, the hyena. Looks like Carthine, you are up now, and you can also hear more of this cackling as well. I'm going to move forward and blast <clears throat> one of the knolls behind the. Okay, it looks like you're going to attack the top one. Sounds good. Uh, 16 on armor class is definitely a hit. They've only got a 13 armor class with uh, no shield on. So, all right. So you hit him for a total of one damage. Dave, you mind if I hop in and help somebody in the group? What do you mean? He actually has two invocations that aren't being used. 
Sure. Talking about the uh, the sorcerer stuff, right? The warlock. Yeah, he should be adding his charisma yeah, the modifier, and it should also knock them back as well. Uh, I was wondering about that. Yeah, don't don't be afraid to ask, man. That's uh, you know, that's I believe that's part of uh, agoni. I believe it's agonizing blast and repelling blast or something like that. Correct. Yeah, that, I it believe it's repelling blast. blast. It's kind of waiting to see if you're gonna uh, take advantage of that.